Hey down please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Jimin being scared and another member also being upset. I also want to get into a previous fan meet and some rude possible anti-fans. I also wanted to jump into some new shocking photos that new sites released and I wanted to get into those because people have a lot to say about that. So grab your Dublin tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. But before we do, we do have a sponsor so let's roll that clip. I'm glad that today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. They're an amazing subscription brand that has so many high-end perfumes like Gucci, Gucci, Dolce & Cabana that you get access to without paying a high premium price for. And they just get sent right to your door. So Scentbird was kind enough to send me some to show you. They come in these really cute colored bottles. These are not all of them. You can see the other colors on the website. And you just twist it up and then you can use the atomizer. This scent is called Sign by Mercedes-Benz. This is a lavender grapefruit scent that I love. They sent another one called CK1 by Calvin Klein, which is like fresh roses. And this one is called Apsu and it smells like watermelon. Just Pull it out when you're done and then you can just add a new one. For reference, this is the sample size you get at a department store. Scentbird is much bigger. You get enough for a 30 day supply of the scent you want and you have the option to choose which subscription you'd like to be sent to your door every three, six or 12 months. So if you've seen a particular scent online that you really want but it costs like $500, go to Scentbird, pick out the scent you like and pay only $16. And with my code, your first month is actually only $11. So go down in the description and check them out and thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing that I want to get into today is Jimin and him kind of clapping back at some rude comments. But before I do, I have to give some backstory on what is going on and go a little bit into the past. A time and era in which we could enjoy BTS, not just on our computer screens, but in the flesh and in person, whether that is constant concerts or meet and greets and let's be honest it will probably be a little while until we get to see them again at fan meets. One because it was difficult getting tickets anyway but now with COVID even if they are going to do it it will probably be with few people and they will be heavily screened and tested or at least I would hope they would do that. Jin has talked about being shy and an unconfident boy as he was growing up. This is not too surprising to me because all of the boys seem extremely introverted and like to keep to themselves. They don't seem to go out and meet other people or socialize too much with other people. And even in their series, In the Soup, which I am currently reacting to season two on my Patreon, link down below. But in that series, you can see how given the opportunity to do whatever they want, they would prefer to be around a few people at a time rather than all of them together. So they don't necessarily invite all the members to do every activity that they do. And even people like RM would sit there and study by himself and would prefer to take his time off to be by himself, which is something introverts do. We need time to ourselves. Jin is definitely this person too, and possibly even before debut, he was bullied for being shy or for whatever reason. This is just my theory because I don't know a person who hasn't been bullied before. We all have, even if it's just our parents. But Jin talked about how he has such low confidence and used to be very self-conscious. This is hard to believe as he calls himself worldwide handsome and it's simply just been proven that he is handsome. Like photos of him and just his face go viral. Us normie people don't go viral for our faces. And if you have, you're obviously hot and most people consider you hot. So clips of him talking about his low confidence confidence before recently started to resurface and we were even seeing moments on Weverse not too long ago where he said he wasn't that handsome. In my experience, it's always the people who call themselves handsome who feel the least handsome. It's almost like they're trying to convince themselves and trying to believe it themselves because everyone believes he's handsome and he just maybe wants to believe it too. And this is normal and shows how human he is. I mean, what type of person would he be if he literally thought he was all that? A conceited person and he is simply just not that. Jin even previously had talked about how awkward he was. I'm assuming this before debut. He talked about how he was very shy and quiet all the time and I relate to this. He obviously gotten over that and just so you know you can't get to that level of fame and still be shy. He might be introverted but he is not shy and you can't be because you have to stand up for yourself in this industry and you have to know your worth. Otherwise you believe all the awful comments that are said about you so the industry matures you very fast and you have people who figure themselves out very quickly because they have to. Otherwise they will be constantly gaslighted didn't even hurt themselves, which we have seen. Meanwhile, most of us probably don't really understand ourselves even in our 30s and can take even when you're 50 to really understand what you want out of life. And that is okay. I think that is actually better. But when Jin was doing a fan meet a little while ago, a fan called Jin awkward while Jin was talking to everyone. And people were even chanting this at Jin, asking him why he is so awkward and even calling him awkward and insisted that he was awkward. And Jin felt very uncomfortable by this. I don't know if this was a joke, but Jin was visibly uncomfortable with this and how 
strange it is when called awkward, you suddenly become more. It's not necessarily a compliment to be called awkward, especially the way this fan was shouting at Jin about it. And if you're a fan at a fan meet, why would you even have these thoughts about the people you idolize? Like you're there because you love them and hopefully you don't think of them as awkward or weird. This is likely an insecurity for Jin for the reason I mentioned earlier. And he reached out to turn to Jimin who was next to Jin and asked Jimin for help. Jimin took the microphone from Jin and it seemed like Jimin was attempting to de-escalate the situation and kind of bring the attention back to something else. People seemed really happy to hear Jimin speak and people were cheering again when Jimin grabbed the microphone. And Jimin handled the rest of the fan meet with class. I think it's fine to tease your favorite idol, but definitely not to the point where they may be uncomfortable. This is an insecurity of his, and given the people may not have known, but these are not cool things to tease someone about. As if someone was shy and awkward, their main hope is that you don't realize that. They're trying to hide it. As for myself, as someone who is very awkward and shy, I try my best to hide that awkwardness in social situations and hope that I don't get seen like that. I would actually go home and cry if I was in a public situation and one person was like, look at Dave, he's so awkward. Tell me how that's not the same thing. Only it's literally what? Like a crowd of people saying this, not just one person? Jimin seemed nervous and maybe even scared to address this, but he did and he did it with class. Given this was an earlier time, but I'm hoping that things like this don't happen anymore, whether it's BTS or not. And just because it's a rookie group doesn't give the right for anyone to tease the idol in that way that makes them uncomfortable. They don't really even know your name yet. So save the teasing for maybe when you go up one-on-one. -on -one. Funny enough, there have been a lot of cute moments since then and a lot of news sites recently posting fun photos of BTS for us to see. Specifically, there have been adorable photos of Taeyeon or V Daddy that were posted on Naver, I believe. Now, these photos I'm about to show you, if you have not already seen it, will shock you. You will die. And if you have seen it, you will die again. So just a warning here, these are beautiful photos and you will be blind after this. These photos are of Taeyeon and Big Hit and Naver took them. They have a collaboration together, so this could be Big Hit's photography team taking these photos too. But these were almost like really high quality paparazzi photos and you can see Tana's clear skin and the beautiful suit he's wearing. You can almost see the texture of the suit too. It's very nice photos. People online were so freaked out over just how beautiful Tana looks in these and are we surprised? No, of course not. But like we're also very surprised. He just seems to get more and more beautiful and we can't really describe his beauty. Some people online were saying things like they knew he was attractive but not to this extent. I would assume these were more casual fans or casual listeners that maybe heard them on the radio or something and then saw these photos. Some even hoped these photos or looks would land him in a TV show again and people would hire him. And let's just say Tan getting hired for a TV show, the looks and the talent isn't the issue. Likely the issue would be that they can't afford his rate or Tan simply doesn't have time. I see a lot of comments hoping that Tan will do a show and some even saying that his rate might be too high and maybe to lower the rate or whatever. But it doesn't make sense to do that. If Tan does a show, let's say he can't go on tour, you pick one or the other because it's quite stressful to do both. Let's say on tour he'll make a million dollars and the show has to pay him a million dollars because his time would make him that much and he is losing out on that money by being on the show and not doing the tour. So he would have to charge more than some seasoned actors to be quite honest and this is due to his demand but also him charging this much wouldn't even be that much. Armies from all around the world similar to how they would buy concert tickets would go and buy movie tickets to go and see Tan on the big screen or on Netflix. So they would make their money back and it's not even that expensive given how much they would probably make back. So hopefully he does spare some time to do a show one day. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check that out, I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You have videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you like to see over there. Currently, we do have over 400 videos that are already up on there, so if you'd like to check that out, then please go over there and check it out and be a part of that community over there as well. If you're interested in any of that, link is in the top description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. The video is on the front page. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.